Welcome. What I want to do today is simplify this rational term. And the main important thing when simplifying a rational term is we need to look at and see you know, what values, where they are in my numerator and denominator, and see that I have to exclude any certain values in my simplified form. And what I notice is that I have 6 times a in my denominator. And the one important thing we need to remember is we can never divide by 0. So how can 6a become 0? Well, the only way that 6a is going to become 0 is if a equals 0. So I'm going to write down in my answer, I'm just going to write it though, a cannot equal 0. Because if a equals 0, then I have 0 on the bottom and so forth. But I need to make sure now that I'm going to use my simplified version. So now I need to simplify that. And to simplify this problem, the way that I'm going to simplify it is just going to work on the numerator and the denominator separately. So on the numerator, I need to take a look at this and say, all right, what terms do these have in common? Well, the 9a squared and the 9a both have a 9a in common. So when I factor them out, what I'm left with is an a plus 1 and then divide by 6a. Well, 6a don't have anything in common, so I can't combine that out. So I'm just going to leave that with a 6a. Now I have a divided by a, which is going to leave me with 1. And then 9 6, I can reduce that fraction to 3 halves. So I can have 3 times a plus 1 divided by 2 would be my simplified version of this, of this problem where a cannot equal 0. And there you go. That's how you simplify this problem. Thanks.